In today's blog video, we're going to have a look at pocket entry motion. Uh, so we do have this small pocket lower right hand corner. Uh, toolpath is going down doing some depth cuts, uh, but it's doing straight plunges. So in the entry motion, we do have an entry motion defined, uh, minimum, maximum length, some clearance values, um, an angle for that angle or the angle for the ramp to occur at. And the check mark over here says basically if the ramp fails, uh, plunge. So that's indeed what's happening with this operation. Um, there's no <clears throat> ramping happening. We're just getting a straight plunge. So how can we fix that? Uh, basically what we need to do is, is give Mastercam a little bit more room to be able to make this ramp actually work. So right now we're telling it that this ramp can't be any less than 50% of the uh, uh, diameter of this cutter. Uh, so that gives us eighth of an inch. We're working with a quarter inch uh, cutter. So if in fact it's smaller than this, then that entry will fail and it's gonna result in a plunge. We've also given it minimum clearance values uh, as far as the minimum clearance between the wall of this part is 100 thou. So if this entry motion cannot fit in this pocket and leave 100 thou of clearance, we're gonna fail as well. And the orientation of this ramp is dictated by this angle that we've given it here. So. If we're not really concerned about the angle in which this entry occurs, it might be best to checkbox this auto angle and Mastercam can kind of try and fit this um, ramp in in the most appropriate angle. So even with that, um, allowing Mastercam to use any orientation that it wants, it's still not fitting. Um, we can reduce this minimum length, and I think this is going to solve it for us here. If we drop this down, let's get kind of drastic down to 20%. Uh, still nothing. Let's even go down to 10%. And we're still not fitting in. So what we could try doing now is we're, we're down to basically a 25 thou uh, ramp. So I think what we need to do here is allow a little bit more clearance to the wall. Uh, so what I would suggest, because uh, we are doing a roughing and a finishing, and we're leaving uh, 70 thou for the finish, maybe let's leave a little bit less on the walls. Let's say we're just going to leave 10 thou for the finish pass. So if this was the case, I would say that on our entry motion, let's not get any closer than 20,000. So we're still not going to be voiding into our, our finish allowance on that wall. And see if that guy will, uh, if that will fit in now. So there we are, in fact, getting an entry motion. Uh, just by, you know, first off, allowing Mashcam to do a, a shorter ramp and also allowing it to get a little bit closer to the wall and allowing it to pick the best angle that it finds for the entry motion. Uh, so sometimes other entry motion, motion methods would work better as well, like perhaps a helix would work better in this case than an actual uh, ramp, but again, that's something you can do with, with trial and error. But the same parameter burners will apply. We have to give it a minimum value um, and a clearance amount from the walls. One thing to keep in mind with these min and max values is Mastercam will start its entry motion attempt at the maximum length and start reducing it from there. Uh, so it's not going to immediately try and fit in the smallest motion that you're telling it. It's going to start at the largest. If that doesn't fit, it's going to step down to something smaller up until it reaches the minimum length that you've specified for this. And if this does, in fact, still not fit, um, it's going to default to over to this box here and and so perhaps if you need an entry motion to get that tool to in the part, and if this doesn't happen, you might want to check this box over here to make sure that you, you know, can pick up the fact that indeed the entry motion is failing and you should be addressing it further.